Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's try to name this. The longest chain is this. Correct? Since I have a mind group here, so I'll make this guy as 1 carbon, 2, 3 and 4 because I wanted to give the least number to the amine group. So the name will be what? At 2 position I have a keto. So it will be 2 keto. At 3 position I have methyl. I wrote keto first before methyl because K comes before M. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Then L, M. Right? So 2 keto, 3 methyl. And then at uh, I have a bromine. Add with nitrogen, so I write nitrogen bromo. And then meth it no but. So it is buta butane, all single bond, right? Butane amide. Correct? That's amide group. So it is 2 keto, 3 methyl, and bromo butamide. Let's try to name this compound. So it has alcohol. This is the highest uh, functional group in this case. So this is my longest chain of carbon with the double bond. So my numbering will start like this. Why? Because it should have, it should be nearest to OH, right? OH group should get the least number. This is my numbering. So let's see with the uh, prefix. I have chloro and I have methyl group. Two prefix I have, right? But chloro comes first, then methyl in alphabetical order. So let me first write chloro. So it will be 4 chloro. 3 methyl, correct? At 4 I have chloro, 3 I have methyl, and then I have meth, eth, pro, but, 4, but. So it will be but. At second position I have double bond, so but, 2, in, right? At first position I have ol, so I can have 1 ol. Butene, 1 ol. Or you can just write but, 2, in, ol. This also you can write. Because if you are not mentioning one all, that means it is implicit that it is, a, it is at first position. Let's name this compound. So let's find the longest chain. This is my longest chain. Can I take this? No, I have to go down because I have to take this group. Right? Amine group. Because amine group is a main functional group here. This is my group. Since amine group is the main functional group, I give it number one here, number two here, number three number 4 and number 5. So I have one uh, prefix here at second position that is bromomethyl. This is 2 bromomethyl and since this itself was a complex one so I wrote it in braces and at third position I have oxo and then we have 5 carbon so it is penta all single bond so penta Pentane and then amide groups, so amide. So it is 3 bromomethyl, 3 or 2 bromomethyl, 3 oxo pentanamide. Let's try to name this compound. Is aldehyde group here? And there are two alcohol group here. Aldehyde group has higher priority than alcohol group. So this is my longest chain. This aldehyde group has a higher priority. I'll give this number one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. Correct. So about the prefix, I have one prefix methyl and one two. In fact, hydroxy. So if you see methyl and hydroxy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This comes first. So first write hydroxy that is 2 comma 3 dihydroxy. Why dihydroxy? Because there are two hydroxy group. Then 4 methyl. Right? And then I have 5 carbon. So pent all single bond N is aldehyde group Al. 
So it is 2, 3 dihydroxy 4 methyl pentanoin. That is the name of the compound. Let's name this compound. So here the longest chain is this guy. Correct. And which is the primary uh, functional group? Ketone. So this should we should number in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why? Because this should get the lower number. If you number in this fashion, the ketone will get 4 number. So in this is a better numbering option. So let's see what are the prefix. I have one chlorine prefix and one methyl. So chlorine is chloro and methyl is methyl. So A, B, C, C. This comes first. So first you write chlorine. It's chlorine at fifth position. 5-chloro, five, five methyl at 3 position, 3-methyl, three 5-carbon, pent all single bond, in ketone at 2nd position, 2-O. This is the name of the compound, 5-chloro, 3-methyl, pentanol. Let's name this compound. So here we have ketone group and alcohol group. So ketone is more important, more priority. So we'll name in this fashion, one number in this fashion, one, two, three, four, five. This is my carbon chain, the longest carbon chain. Correct? So at I have prefix that is hydroxy group at fourth position. So it will be four hydroxy. Then I have five carbon, so pent, all single bond, and at second position I have ketone, right? O. This will be the name of this compound. Let's name this compound. This has OH group, Br and Cl group, hydroxy, bromo and chlorine group. Hydroxy has the highest priority out of all. So this is my longest chain and I'll number from this pattern. Why? Because I want to give the lowest number to hydroxy group. So this is my primary group here. So I have two uh, prefix here, bromo and chloro, which comes first. B come first, then C. Right, so I'll just first use this bromo. Bromo is at th third position, so this three bromo, chloro at fourth position. There are five carbon, so it's pent, all single bond, N, and at second position I have alcohol, so pent N to all. Correct? So it's three bromo, four chloro, pent N to all. A second example, almost similar to the previous one. So here also we have OH group Br and Cl. Cl. So OH group is the highest priority out of uh, all these things because halogen and uh, hydroxy OH is the more priority. And this is my longest chain. So if you take from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, OH gets third position. If you take from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, OH gets third position itself. But if you take from this way, my Chlorine, bromine, and this chlorine gets lower value. If you take from this way, they'll have, they'll get higher value. I'll show you one, two, three, four, five. So here it is three, four, and five. Here it is one, two, and three. So I'll not take this one. I'll take this order only. So now I have uh, bromine, chlorine, right? So out of bromine, chlorine, bromine is the first priority. I mean, order wise. So I'll write bromine first. That is my three bromo, bromine at third position. So it will be 3 bromo and then uh, chlorine at 2 and 1. So it is 1 comma 2 dichloro and then I have at uh, 5 carbon so it's pent all single bond in and at third I have alcohol 3 all. Correct. So let's name this compound. Here we have one ethoxy group. This is my paint carbon chain. This is ethoxy group in one alcohol group. Alcohol group has a higher priority than ethoxy group. So let me number them. 1, 2 and 3. This is better way because if you number in this way, in both cases alcohol will get 2 position. But here ethoxy is getting 1 position. That is better. Right, so I'll number in this way, and then it will be at first position. I have ethoxy, this is my prefix. So, one ethoxy, then I have three carbon that is pro, 
all single bond in at second position i have two al alcohol so two o so there is one ethoxy propane two o let's name this compound here my longest chain is this guy from here to here and i have uh, one ethyl group one chloro group and one ketone group so this is my highest priority right so i have two prefix here chloro and ethyl so if you compare chloro and ethyl so chloro comes first a b c so first i write chloro the numbering should be in this fashion because this ketone group should get lower number so it be 5 chloro and then 3 ethyl done with my prefix i have 5 carbon so pent all single bond in and at second position i have ketone so 2 on and that is my name let's thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again